Welcome to this video on the many components related to the cooling system. In this segment, we will overview the following components such as the radiator, radiator cap, cooling fan, the thermostat, and the water pump. The radiator is designed to release the excess heat captured by the antifreeze and cool the liquid before being returned to the engine. If the vehicle is equipped with an automatic transmission, the radiator will incorporate a transmission oil cooler. We may also find an engine oil cooler to maintain proper engine oil temperature. Now let's have a closer look to the components attached to the radiator and the cooling system. The radiator cap maintains a specific system pressure to increase the boiling point of the antifreeze and control antifreeze level between the radiator and the overflow container. The radiator cap must be tested or replaced upon radiator replacement. The cooling fan, electric or mechanical, is meant to increase airflow across the radiator to improve cooling. The cooling fan is very important, especially during hot weather or when the air conditioning is turned on. A defective or inoperative cooling fan will rapidly increase the temperature and result in engine failure. The cooling fan must be tested upon radiator replacement. The thermostat is a temperature valve that controls the flow of antifreeze from the engine to the radiator. The thermostat is designed to maintain the engine within normal operating temperature. Thermostats come in different temperature ranges. Upon radiator replacement, it is recommended to change the thermostat. The water pump is mounted and driven by the engine. The pump circulates antifreeze throughout the system to absorb heat from the engine. The water pump does not build any pressure in the system. Pump failure may be caused by degraded antifreeze or system contamination. Thank you for watching this video about the cooling system and always be aware how each components relate to each other.